Today, I'm going to be talking about whether Spocket works in South Africa. I've been getting a lot of questions about this lately, so I thought I'd do a video on it. Before I get into the details, I want to say that I'm not affiliated with Spocket in any way. I'm just an independent user who's trying to help people out. What is Spocket? Spocket is a dropshipping platform that allows you to sell products from suppliers all over the world. You don't have to carry any inventory or ship anything yourself. Spocket takes care of all of that for you. Does Spocket work in South Africa? The short answer is yes, Spocket works in South Africa. However, there are a few things you need to be aware of before you start using it. Shipping Costs One of the biggest challenges of using Spocket in South Africa is the shipping costs. Shipping from overseas can be expensive, so you need to make sure that you're factoring this into your pricing. Customs Another thing to be aware of is customs. When you ship products from overseas, they may be subject to customs fees. You'll need to factor these fees into your pricing as well. Delivery times Shipping times can also be a challenge when using Spocket in South Africa. It can take several weeks for products to arrive, so you need to make sure that you're communicating with your customers about the expected delivery time. Despite these challenges, Spocket can be a great way to start an e-commerce business in South Africa. Here are a few tips for using Spocket. Choose your products carefully. Only select products that are likely to be popular with South African customers. Do your research. Make sure you understand the shipping costs and customs fees associated with the products you want to sell. Communicate with your customers. Keep your customers updated on the status of their order. Spocket can be a great way to start an e-commerce business in South Africa, but it's important to be aware of the challenges involved. If you're willing to do your research and be patient, you can be successful using Spocket. With that said, thank you for watching.